Hello friends, I am CM Iqbal Merchant and welcome to one more GST video. Today we are going to talk about how to generate eBay bills using SMS facility. In my previous video, I showed you how to generate an eBay bill using the online portal. Also, I spoke about the Android app. However, both these methods are useful only when you have internet. In our country, sadly, there are a lot of places where internet facility is still not available. So, that's the time where you can use the SMS method. Okay, so we shall take the session in the following manner. How to register for SMS facility on the portal. How to generate an eBay bill, both for suppliers as well as transporters. How are you supposed to update the vehicle number of an, exi of an existing eBay bill. And finally, how to cancel an eBay bill. So how do you register on the portal? I'll give you a live demo of that. After logging in, to your eBay bill portal. On the left hand side panel, under register, the register for SMS. You just click on that, an OTP will be sent to your mobile number. Verify the OTP and that's it. You're good to go. Okay, so how now are you supposed to generate an eBay bill? So, first, when you're a supplier, you have to Build the message in the following syntax. How? What is that syntax? EWBG, then transaction type. What are the codes exactly for transaction type? We will come to that shortly. Thereafter, recipient's GSTN. If your recipient is not registered, then you put URP for unregistered person. Then the delivery PIN code. Next, the invoice or document number the invoice or any other document date, total value of the consignment, HSN code, approximate distance in kilometers and finally the vehicle number. Once you send this SMS to the designated number, now what is the designated number? The designated number is state wise. This once it is once the portal is live and all this data is available in the public domain, I will share that with you. Once you send this number or designated, uh, sorry, this SMS to a designated number, you will re receive back the available number and the date as a reply. Okay. Now, when you are a transporter, then the syntax stays almost the same. Only W, it becomes E W B T. This is one change. Instead of E W B G, it becomes E W B T, and Along with the recipient's GSTN number, you also have to supply the supplier's GSTN number. And if this is not available, then URP. Okay, so now coming to transaction types. As I mentioned that they have to put the transaction type. Transaction types are, is it an outward supply? Is it export? Is it for job work? So these are the codes in front of you. So for normal, regular supply or sale, you have to put OSUP for exports OEXP and so on. Okay. Now after an eBay bill has been generated, if you want to update the vehicle number, then you're supposed to send the SMS as EWBV. The eBay bill number, the vehicle number, and the reason. The reason is a code. The following code which you see on your screen. Okay, this is whether it is a first time transport, is there a breakdown in the car, etc. Okay, now lastly, if an eBay bill has already been generated, as I as you may recall from my previous videos, you have a 24 hour window to cancel the eBay bill. Now, if internet is not available, no need to panic. You can just send a simple SMS which is EWBC and the eBay bill number, and that's it, your eBay bill will be cancelled. Okay, so as always, thank you so much for a patient hearing and I hope this video has been fruitful for you. To receive such updates regularly, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.